Howdy, how's it going? My name's Davy Chappie, and I just saw The Green Knight, and it was weird, dude. First of all, I'm really interested in how the marketing of this movie happened. It was shown off in a lot of places, and it was treated like a mainstream movie, but it totally is not. It breaks a lot of conventions that you would expect from a basic story structure that you would get from something appeasing a mainstream audience, and instead, it takes you on this surrealist, abstract fantasy journey where Gawain smacked some green boy's ass, so now some green boy's gotta smack it back. The first thing I want to talk about is the cinematography is really, really good. This is a weird thing, but normally in a movie you'll get a cut every two to three seconds, but David Lowery just lets shots hang for so long, which is normally an issue, but here it's to emphasize a point. It's to get you to really comprehend what you are seeing. And I remember one shot near the beginning where Gawain was walking through a field of dead bodies talking to another character, and it's so cool to have shots go on for so long with no cuts, because it means that they had to do that whole thing in one go. Speaking of talking, the acting in this movie is really good. I think that the characters at the beginning are kind of slow and a little superfluous. I understand that King Arthur himself is necessary and you have to have the whole knights in the round table and then the green knight shows up and all that for the story to happen, but it just felt a little bit slow because most of this movie is carried by the actors and the actors just weren't doing all that much. But once Gawain gets into the journey, any interactions that he has with another actor is phenomenal and just seeing him acting off of the scenery with no one else around to bounce off of, it's fantastic. It's really hard to do that and I give massive props to Dev Patel. The scoring was also great and the special effects, while a little dated in some points, still got the message across. I will say, I wish the fox didn't exist because every time it was on screen, it pulled me out of the movie, and this movie lives or dies based on how well you get pulled into it. So much of it is left up to interpretation, and it's just got weird cool shit in it that I don't want to spoil for you, so I can't say anything other than it's just weird cool shit. But I will say that if you're a fan of Arthurian legend, then this is a very faithful recreation. I myself, who had no idea that the Green Knight was anything other than an Adventure Time reference, didn't get the inclusion of some of the characters, but after reading the story in the bathroom of NJR, suddenly those things fell into place, so if you go in with no information at all, it's gonna be more confusing, because the movie does seem to hope that you already know how the story goes, it just wants to show you a really cool version of that. Overall, if you're into a fantasy journey style of storytelling, a la The Hobbit book, then this movie is going to do great for you. It has fantastic set dressing, the actors are amazing, the lighting that they do in certain scenes, mm, it may not end up leaving a lasting impression, but if you got 10 bucks in an afternoon, I would definitely recommend The Green Knight, and I give this a 4 out of 10. But yeah, Davy out.